All right, everybody, it's Art from Clement Small Engine Repair again. And uh, I got my truck this morning, and I found this here. Um, I, I immediately knew who it was. It was a buddy of mine, Denny's, and he wanted me to get this uh, gear that has like a six-sided hex on the inside of it to fit on this. And it was much larger. Uh, this is the shaft. And I said, well... I can't broach out, you know, like cut out a six side on the on the inside of that gear, and I certainly don't want to fly cut this. I said, "Where's your original shaft?" And I'll show that to you. He goes, "Well, here it is." I said, "Well, what's wrong with it?" And he said, "This is all wore down." And obviously, you can see it's it's quite worn down. So I said, "It'd be a whole lot easier to measure this because we know this is the right size. This six sided shaft is actually smaller, and if we did that, we could." measure this know that this is the right size because this is the, the the gear that goes on it and instead of having to fly cut both sides or all six sides of that down which i probably wouldn't even really be able to hold properly we could just turn this down and i could weld it with a mig welder and then uh resize it on a lathe and set it all up so here's what i did took some measurements of it and uh i'm gonna start cutting and grinding and welding so Get ready. I'll, uh, I'll bring you through this little short video. Not to mention it's been a while. I've wanted to put a video up. So let me show you how I uh, cob stuff on the cheap. All right, so I got this set up in between centers. This is the area that we have to turn down. Um, I kind of did a little test cut. Uh, it looks hardened. Well, we're about to find out. So let's make a little cut here. It's not too bad. Kick it in second gear, get it spinning a little faster. Don't do what I'm doing with this machine. I abuse stuff. So apparently crushing. Probably throw it in second gear. See this probably got hardened too when the bearings got went bad because it was uh, dealing with a lot of heat. All right, so now that you see how you cut it, I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. All right, so I got the part turned down a ways. As you can see, I got it uh, turned down. I'm gonna try to stay away from this so I don't have to resize this. I'll just emery cloth it because a, a brass bushing goes on there. But now that I got that turned down, I'm just gonna crack out the MIG welder and put some strings across it. And turn it back down. First best part of the job, get yourself a switchback ale, they're really good. Secondly, crack out the old MIG welder. If this was like a uh, real precision job, I would probably use the TIG welder, but since we're right in the middle of snowblower season, this happens to be for a snowblower and it's an extracurricular activity. Might as well just bang it out real quick. MIG, so let's do this. On. Doesn't have to be pretty, it's all coming right back off. So now I have to put about 300 of them around here and then off we go. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from side to side because what just happened was is as I heated this, I did it right on the apex of this hex. It warped the shaft. So now I'm going to jump over to this side, and I'll jump to the next one and the next one and so on and so forth. Did there. Now that I have sectors in between the two, 
just weld in between it. So now that this is really hot, I'm gonna pull over to this side. This isn't, this, like I said, doesn't need to be precision, but you know, it is what it is. all you want to this like I said is just this is just adding material on it's all that matters about this you hang around long enough I'll show you some pretty well I'm just going through and see there's a low spot right here. I'll add some material in there. Come on, a little dark and no, there we go. What I would think is a low spot right here, I'll add a little material. Come on, auto darkener. Oh. That was a terrible start to hear it. <laughs> this is just a chicken, a chicken shit farmer's weld fix doesn't have to be perfect. Now see these high spots right here, I'll take this over to the bench grinder and I'll knock all these high spots down. And I think I'm really close to the dimension I need to be with this material added on. You can see it's sugar in it. I don't even know what this material is. You know, I don't know if it's mild steel, if it's uh, mild steel that's been hardened. I don't have a clue. So this is just literally to add material. All right, to the grinder. Snowbank, pull it off. It'll be cold. We were getting a great finish until I uh, said something. Just a little bit more. We're going to come into a problem with that right there, I have a feeling. In those spots right there. Because I believe the bearing rides really far on here. But let's see. Beautiful finish, but not terrible. I'm gonna let me pull off and clean up. mechanism huh <laughs> yeah see it's starting to burr up a little bit three thousands I think I'm gonna take the rest out with uh emery cloth with sandpaper yeah now what I need to do is go back over to my drawing here and look at my measurements so we know we're pretty well damn near close to 750 on so let's go be it's an next one of 6665 
and we need to look at the measurement here D so it's this is uh, one inch 575 thou this is 673 so so 6730. 6730 on the end of the shaft here. So, I'm going to go to 673. 673 and a half, we'll say. Okay. This is just a rough guesstimate, really, to be honest with you. I'm not, it's not super critical because it just rides on a bushing. So I just want to be kind of within these numbers. up enough because the tail stocks in a way. We should got some wobbly in her in the end there, huh? Good thing it doesn't turn more than I don't even think it does. This is the drive shaft for the... Oh, shit, no, but so this is... And this is the big end of the drive shaft for the oh, thing. Oh, so this is why I like... Barely moving. Yeah. And like I said, if this was precision, I would have went to make it Steve and use their mach machines. Yeehaw! Got that on camera. Yeah. No more being a Jira car. I'm rushing it, you know what I mean? I got this crocus cloth from the, uh, for the semi cloth. We got it worked at GE, and we hadn't worked there in probably 35 years. So, I can tell you that it's pretty old. I'm not even gonna measure it. Let's just see if we're here first. Drum roll, please. Let me pass that seal a little tight. No. Let's try it from this side. Nope. Gotta take it and uh, take a little more off. It's getting bound on the seal. Probably because it's hot too. Well, yeah, it's gonna grow when it's warm for sure, but. Okay, we got Denny's shaft all straightened out. Um, this one here came out okay. Like I said, it's just a quickie. And it's just to get the job done for him, you know. This gear seems to fit on that shaft that I re-welded perfectly. And it's not grooved up anymore. I'll be able to put a rounds bushing on and clip and it should work out just fine for him. So keep an eye out for videos. Hopefully I get the opportunity to do this again. I want to say thanks a lot to my buddy Toothy that came over. Uh, he's my homeboy from way back. Good kid. And uh, I was glad he was here to video for me. Hopefully one of these days I'll... Uh, won't be so busy between home life and, and running the business and doing pickup and deliveries. And, you know, I'm raising two boys too. It's pretty tough. <laughs> but hopefully I'll be able to get more videos out to you. Um, my, my workload is pretty steep. I do commit to doing a lot of stuff and... 
you know, I really want to take more time to make YouTube videos because I know in the long run, you know, that could be a full-time job. I'm obviously not going for that in the beginning, but you never know. It might happen. So, Shaft's done. I'll drop that off in the morning and see what I can get myself into tomorrow. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, I guess hit the like button and, you know, subscribe and all that happy stuff that big fancy YouTubers say. But uh, in the meantime... Keep an eye out. Hopefully I'll uh, I'll make some more videos for you. All right guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.